Hi, and welcome to FedMail. Thank you for joining us on this Friday afternoon. Hope you're doing well and that you had a good Independence Day, 4th of July holiday. I wanna begin by acknowledging that there are still a number of Americans held hostage, held captive in Gaza. I saw conflicting reports that there were between five and eight. Some may not be with us any longer, meaning that they may have been killed while in captivity. But I think the July 4th holiday would have been a perfect time for elected officials and those with a voice a public voice to have stressed concern about these Americans not being able to enjoy their independence and freedom uh, while we were here in the United States. So it's concerning to me and I wanna make sure to acknowledge and point out that there are still a number of Americans held captive, held hostage. Also this week saw a continuation of escalating violence in the West Bank with a roadside bomb, a very large uh, roadside bomb in improvised uh, explosive device, an IED that was placed something like two meters below the ground, uh, which hit an Israeli convoy operating there. And this uh, was concerning to a lot of experts because it showed a new level of sophistication in this terrorist activity uh, outside of Janine in this case. And interestingly enough, when we were in Israel in March, uh, or in May, as a delegation, we visited a kibbutz just north of the border with Janin, and uh, it was told to us there that on a nightly basis, the fence between uh, the West Bank and Israel was breached and cut, and there was concern that on any given night, terrorists could infiltrate the country. So this is an ongoing issue and um, a serious point of both contention and concern for Israelis. Uh, and we'll continue to report on that as uh, time passes. Also, there was a major rocket attack, uh, again, in the north of Israel, and this follows um, recent continuation of rockets and drones being fired into Israel from Lebanon and Syria. Hezbollah um, has absolutely also escalated their attacks, and there were large fires that were raging throughout the uh, northern part of the country. And uh, of course, as noted before, something like 60 to 90,000 Israelis are still uh, unable to return to their homes, evacuated from the north uh, for well over eight months now. Hostage talks continued this week as well with um, Mossad uh, negotiators heading to Doha, Qatar uh, to negotiate the return of the hostages, uh, which may or may not include ceasefire um, arrangements as well. And there is a new government in the UK and uh, it's being reported in the press that the new uh, pr the prime minister's wife, I don't know if you'd call her the first lady or the, what, the, what the proper term is, so my apologies for that, but Victoria Starmer is a uh, Jewish woman who said that uh, they do enjoy going to synagogue and having Shabbat meals in their house. So very interesting there. And it is the first um, labor government in well over a decade in the UK. So we'll see how that plays out for foreign policy and Brexit and all of that. Also, all eyes, of course, are turning to uh, France as well with the elections ongoing there, and uh, we'll see how that develops. Locally, we've got a lot of good news. First of all, we have a new shlicha coming in August. We're very excited to announce Mayan uh, Yacobi will be joining us. She's a young woman from Ranana, and we are very excited. I want to thank Liz Baker for being tenacious and working so hard to secure a great Shaliach for this year. As you can imagine, with all that's gone on in Israel, uh, things were very different this time around, finding the right fit, good candidate, and we are very pleased to be uh, looking forward to welcoming Mayan in August. Also pleased to announce uh, from our friends at Central Mass Chabad uh, that the Kosher Bowl Mia Cane Juicery and Smoothie Bar is now kosher. That's on Park Avenue, and I'm looking forward to trying that. So Mia Cane is now kosher. Uh, also pleased to wish uh, Mazel Tov Mazel Tov to Menachem and Shana Libero on their recent wedding. And to make sure to invite you to Jewish Heritage Day coming up on Tuesday night, you can still get tickets. That's going to be a great time, great show, and uh, awesome to get out to the ballpark in July. And then, of course, we have a get-together on the 18th in downtown Worcester at Wormtown. There's a concert coming up to celebrate Rabbi Rachel Gerbitz from uh, B'nai Shalom's upcoming uh, anniversary, bar, bat mitzvah anniversary of being at the congregation, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, you can travel to Tanglewood with the JCC coming up. So a lot of great things happening. Go out, check out the uh, new 
kosher juicery and smoothie bar on Park Avenue. Join us at the ball game. In the meantime, be safe and stay cool. Thank you very much for your support and Shabbat Shalom.